What's going on guys? So this is episode 4 of Infected by a Moab. This time we're playing Infected on Dome and we're using the probably the most hated weapon in uh, Modern Warfare 3, the Camo FMG 9s. So I play Dome a little bit differently than most people do. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys play Infected. You get up on that uh, the railing up in front of the Dome, um, that nice long walkway that gives you a big view of the map. Um, I actually don't really use that strategy that often, especially with the Kimbo FMG 9s. The strategy that I use is to stay in this area right here um, in front of and behind the satellite dishes and, and the big chain fence. And I, I basically just kind of move back and forth. I stay right in the action and it works out really, really well. So as far as choosing this spot, I chose it, like I said, because it puts you right in the action. You're going to get a majority of the kills a lot faster than you would sitting up on top of the, the, the walkway in front of the dome, especially with the Akimbo FMG9s. Um, you're not going to get any long range kills with this uh, with the setup. Uh, you may every once in a while uh, you know, get a lucky shot here and there, but in general this is a close to medium way, medium range setup and you want to be in the middle of the action as much as possible. Now I set my C4 over there just because a lot of attacks uh, end up being over there from people trying to get me or people trying to get the, the guys on the balcony. So uh, if you put a C4 over there and you notice that they're spawning, um, go ahead and hit it and you'll probably get two or three uh, kills or probably destroy some tactical insertions and you'll be that much closer to the Moab. As far as um, the strategy that I use, um, just kind of elaborating a little bit more, the reason that I chose this area as opposed to anywhere else is because um, the chain link fence it actually serves as kind of like a, a big invisible wall of protection. Uh, and basically what I mean by that is uh, the throwing knives can't go through the chain link fence. You can try as much as you want, you can try to get it right in between the, the perfect gap in between the fence, but there's basically a big invisible wall in front of the satellite dishes and uh, throwing knives can't go through it. But you can shoot through the fence, which is kind of interesting. Um, how the knives won't go through it, but the bullets do. And uh, you can basically get a good head start on people, you can kind of pre-fire them through the fence and if they're coming at you, um, you end up quicking up, killing them a little bit quicker. So I definitely think this is a good strategy, um, good protection. The only way they're going to end up killing you is uh, if you're kind of low on ammo and you end up trying to reload or, or you run out of ammo and end up rushing you and, and knifing you. Um, or if you're out in the open and, and you don't see anyone, they may throwing knife you, but in general, you're going to be pretty protected back here. You're going to be in the middle of the action. And if you could have an, another person or two back here with you, it definitely helps. Maybe one person guarding one side and one person guarding the other. I actually end up being by myself basically the entire game. And uh, I do pretty well. And you'll notice at the end of the game, we don't end up winning. And I hate, I really hate uploading uh, losing gameplays, whether it's uh, regular team deathmatch or, or infected or anything like that. Well, you'll end up seeing, I actually do get more kills than anyone else in this lobby. Even the, the guy who gets a Moab right after me, you'll see in, in just a minute here. Um, but because of the fact that I'm right in the action, because of the fact that the infected are constantly around me, I end up getting more kills than anyone else. I get the Moab uh, faster than anyone else. And uh, it just works out really, really well. This is definitely a close range um, kind of strategy. Works great with the Akimbo FMG9s as you guys are seeing, but it also works great with the, the PP. And you see right there, um, I get the Moab uh, right away, and uh, we're still pretty early in the game even. Um, it just, uh, the, the game just switched to having the Infected as the advantage. And uh, like I said, um, the FMG9s are great, the PP90 is great um, for close quarter with this setup, um, with this strategy that I'm using. And uh, just kind of a side note, one thing I hate about the Moab is the fact that they have s the, the smoke comes right out after it and you can't see shit it's really really frustrating um, for like 30 seconds or so you can only see like three feet in front of you until it closes out and I was really worried that um, someone was gonna end up sneaking through the smoke and knifing me from the back or anything like that uh, so this game is coming to a close now we only got about 50 seconds uh, left or, or so so um, that's basically the strategy that I use I hope you guys um, test it out and, and see how you like it post a comment down below letting me know if you guys tried it out um, or if you uh, have something a little bit differently and you see right there I'm, I didn't see that guy that, that came right behind me. I don't know why. Um, I've watched this gameplay a hundred times and I still don't understand why I didn't see that. I can see him in, uh, in broad daylight right there. It's just really embarrassing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. This game is coming to a close. Post a comment down below if you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for me, any uh, guns you want to see in Infected, any maps you guys want to see, I'm open to anything. Um, this is actually the last Infected by a Moab game that I've had saved, so I'm going to work on getting a lot more, so I'll kind of get ahead of myself. But like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, definitely post a comment down below. I'm open to anything. Um, if you guys liked it, hit that thumbs up button and really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. But also, you guys hit that subscribe button in the top left-hand corner. You guys can see all my... Uh, you'll be updated for all my videos and uh, like I said comments questions concerns post a comment down below and I'll see you guys later